Hello and welcome to Startside Scenix. This is a quick update on a new long-term project I have to model the South Devon Railway. The initial plan is to build this on separate baseboards, mainly due to practicalities. I'm planning to have 10 baseboards in total. Each baseboard will be 4 feet by 2 feet, so the entire length will be around 40 feet. So the South Devon Railway runs through the Dark Valley, which I've always loved. At one end of this 7 mile heritage line is Buckfastley Station. It has a fantastic model shop on site, so I'm a regular visitor here. As well as the main platform and the footbridge, I'd also like to include the road which leads to the car park. On the Caddeford section, I really like the idea of having the road on one side and the river on the other. Some work has been done on the track since I took this footage, so I'll have to bear that in mind when I'm making it. And this sign is something which is very familiar to many people in the area. If I want to make the entire bridge crossing at Riverford, I might have to make the baseboard slightly deeper as two feet isn't enough. I'm really looking forward to attempting Staverton Station as I've already made a model based on Staverton Bridge. I'll obviously need to make a level crossing and also some of the metal advertising signs for the buildings. This section in Dartington is absolutely amazing. I've spent time walking here and also kayaking along the river. It's so quiet here you often see wildlife like kingfishers. And the view is just as beautiful when you're looking from the train. At the end is my hometown of Totnes. The platform and the path leading to it is quite long, so it will take three baseboards to fit everything in. Around four months ago, I put a poll on my YouTube community page to ask what people would like to see. Over 50% voted for a series based on a large layout. Due to my relative inexperience with railways, I picked up a starter DCC set. I'll be sharing my experiences as I get used to DCC and also be doing some research on the local heritage railways. Track and point choices will be very important and I'll need to install some digital point motors. I still plan to continue making my dioramas, but it'll be nice to have a long-term project as well. These clips show some of the techniques I picked up when making my other videos, and they should be very useful when making the layout. I really enjoy making scenery, so I think that's why I was drawn to making the South Devon Railway. If you like the look of these models or techniques, please have a look at my videos where I go into more detail on how they're made. It's fair to say that a project of this size is very daunting, but I have lots of support online and the ever helpful people at the South Devon Railway. Thanks for watching and I hope this new series will be of interest.